What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to One Up Tempo. My name is Andrew. You're here for episode 27. Is it 27? I haven't recorded this Nuzlocke in two weeks. It's episode 20 something, and I believe it's 27, but I'm really nervous because I messed up the last episode number. So we'll go with 20. <laughs> this is the one. Uh, yeah, we're here at the thing. nailing this week already we're on monday it's monday and we're nailing this week uh yeah yeah yeah. so let's like do a quick review of the party um everyone died <laughs> against candace and by everyone i just mean hypno and uh the other person who died so <laughs> so we uh oh seeking seeking so to replace seeking i've added pearl the shelter to the party uh, who currently is still a shelter. I have gotten a water stone in order to evolve it. However, uh, shelter learns ice beam at level 49, and I'm very interested in having ice beam instead of aurora beam. Um, and I'm just, I've lost so many in this Nuzlocke that using a TM feels too risky because it'll just die, and then I won't have the TM anymore. It nearly happened with Entei, and then... God bless, Entei learned Flamethrower on its own, and I never used it, and then Entei immediately died. So, yeah. Uh, so I'm holding off on evolving it for now. It is currently still a shelter. Might regret that. We'll see what happens. Uh, and then I just have Peter Pun the Pidgey. Oh, oh, so happy with that name. Oh, so much alliteration. Uh, yeah, he's, he's in the party just to hang out for flying purposes, uh, but that is it. I just, he's not usable. He was not an actual encounter, uh, so we're not allowed to use him. But now we're going to go to the actual lake itself, and I think we can get an encounter in the lake, so we're going to pray. God, the snow is the worst! Who came up with the snow? The snow is just bad. Do we have rock climb? Do we tap that? Can I use this? Hey, let's go up the rocks. Oh, we have to go up the rocks. Great, 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 great. But first, we have to trudge through the obnoxious snow to get this item that I'm not gonna use. Thanks for that item. Great. Oh my god, it's the, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's not snowing outside today, but it is windy as a mother. Like, I woke up because the wind literally was like, <gasps> and I was like, whoa, sir, chill out. Um, so anyway, here's, here's that Elite Four Jupiter. Oh, you're going back to the headquarters in Veilstone? Great, 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 great. That's so fun. So fun for you. Hey. Hey, Sergey. How you doing? Yeah, that's all right. I couldn't do anything against Team Galactic. <laughs> I'm going to never try and do the Russian accent. I've tried the Russian accent for like five different episodes, and it's just wrong every time. This time I was just like swallowing my uvula. Which is kind of Russian, actually. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, that's wonderful that you want to go save the world. I, however, want to get a Pokemon encounter, so we're going to surf around in here and find another Ammonite that can murder us. Yeah? Uh, oh! Wow! What a... Yep. Here we are. I'm going to use... I'm going to use flash cannon and if it murders it it murders it that's kind of where i'm at i shouldn't be looking gift horses in the mouth i should take every encounter i get so this is probably really stupid yeah oh well all it learns is present guys and half the time that's gonna heal the enemies so i don't really wanna okay we're gonna fly we're gonna use our good old fly finally and head on back to veilstone I don't have to do a cut. I don't have to edit. I mean, I have to edit, but like, I don't have to do extra editing. I can just actually go back to Veilstone. This is so great. This is wonderful. Okay, I'm pretty sure we start up here. And there's a dude there. And we're gonna... Hmm, we can't get in there. That's wonderful. Hello, do you have the key? Does someone have the key? Do you have the key? I don't want to join you. Do you have the key? How do I get in? Okay. Is the key in the warehouse? Oh my god. <laughs> this is the part where... Oh, do you have the key? Are you going to give me the key? Yeah, key. Oh. Oh. Uh. 
tell me where the key oh great 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 yes 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 great good let's go I uh, just got done doing my good old off-Broadway show once again this weekend. They just keep calling me back in. So <laughs> I said goodbye to everyone again. I was like, okay, everyone, bye. Uh, this is my last show, but the rate we're going, maybe it's not. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Uh, but I had a bunch of friends come, so that was super, super excellent. Uh, the new group that I've been singing with lately is they came on Saturday and that was super fun uh yeah it's not it's the thing about being kind of like a random like step in and substitute and save the day when somebody else can't do the show is like the level of pressure is significantly lower than it usually is when I'm doing the show why are you so dark um so it's kind of nice to like not have that extreme amount of pressure constantly because there there used to be this like feeling of if you screwed up you were in major trouble and blah 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 and like obviously you don't want to screw up a show like yeah um but it's a heavy audience interaction show and so there's just like a lot that can there's variables we'll just put it that way there's a lot of variables um and uh, you know anytime the audience is made to feel involved with the show and it's a drinking show, so there's, like, also the audience is getting drunker steadily as you go. There's just, there's room for risk, <laughs> and stuff can go weird. And so, um, it's nice to do it without as extreme of pressure on it, which, you know, half of it, I'm sure, is manufactured by myself. But, like, okay, I would rather do it with this sort of, like, feeling of freedom, and, um, and it tends to come out better that way anyway. I, I tend to like actually, not that I was messing up my lines before, but I tend to remember my lines even better when I am not worried about remembering all of my lines perfectly. <laughs> Strange how that works when you get out of your own way. Meanwhile, we're fighting all of these wonderful galactic grunts with their very, very difficult Pokemon that Polaris is just destroying. And so since Polaris is doing so great, we're going to switch to somebody else in the front. <laughs> Hi. Oh, you're the gruntiest of grunts. The gruntiest of grunts. I always loved when he said that phrase. That's like one of my favorite phrases in this game. I am the gruntiest of grunts. You sure are, sir. You sure are. Rich Boy Marshall didn't put up much of a fight. I mean, okay, well, we got an item, so that... Snatch! I'm gonna snatch... <laughs> What is Snatch? Can someone tell me what Snatch does? I feel like it's something where it's like if you use... Is that the one where it's like if, if they use something to like raise their defense or attack or something, you take the stat boost instead? I've just seen a bunch of things be like, I'm gonna Snatch, and then nothing ever happens. Because I don't use stat boosting moves. <laughs> Not often, at least. So, um, yeah. Great. Let's fight this guy. A Phoebus! What a threat! What an incredible threat! I'm terrified! Oh, and now something that is not a, such a great option. I know he just put down spikes, but we're gonna, we're gonna switch that on up because that was a bad matchup. Polaris gets a level up. Polaris can take this guy down too. Perfect. All right. I don't know. Let's take the warp panel and see what happens. Wow, some stairs. These hideouts are always fun because I don't know where to go. So I'm just going to warp around randomly and we're going to hope that I get somewhere productive by the end of this episode. Uh, yeah, just go for it again. Yep, figured you were. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Nope, Meganium was not destined to win that, so we're moving on here. Okay, Poison Fang, get him Poison, very good. Rock Climb, miss, perfect. Uh, heal the crap out of you, because that's a scary low HP to be at. And he's dead, but he managed to paralyze everyone in the process. What an annoying little bugger. Wow, Slug Bomb, that's actually pretty cool. Do you have... 
Hello? Where was it now? At the Galactic Failstone building. That much. Go through the door beside the reception counter. What do I do with that key? Is it right over here? Is it this one? Yeah, we got the Galactic Key. Pretty sure. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was hitting the wrong button. I was like, why is the door not opening? Does the key not work? I have to go see where the other stairs were going, though. It's very important that I explore every area all the time. Hello? Oh, yeah, a key. Wow. I would never have guessed. Ooh, Meganium's still in front, so that's not right. But it's a great matchup, so maybe we'll just try and make it live. Yeah. Yeah, that was fine. Okay, now we're going to switch out the order of the party. Ahem. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I do questions of the day now. What's a good question of the day? What is your favorite time? There it is. What's your favorite time? Interpret it as you will. I like open-ended questions. It could be a time of day. It could be a time of year. It could be a, a, a period in history. You do what you want with it. I'm just handing you the question, and all you got to do is hand me your answer. So. What a deep sentence that was trying to be. <laughs> okay, so I came all the way here for an item. This better be good. <laughs> it echoes my feeling about it, so here we go. All right, let's speed our way back out of here. Because now we got to go to the front of the HQ um, and get in that way right here and then we can heal on the way which is nice because everyone and their mother is paralyzed at the moment I have to be honest I'm most excited about the legendary Pokemon encounters specifically Giratina I just want to see what Giratina is going to be hoping it's like a solid Abra <laughs> and just teleports away from me. And then they're like, you defeated it! <laughs> I just... I'm here for chaos. I don't want to play through a Pokemon game well or have it make sense. Oh, I came in the wrong way. Of course I came in the one door that isn't the right door. Um, I'm just here for chaos, though. It's like whenever anybody does the the Nuzlocke um, vote for my starter kind of thing out of the three in the randomizers, I vote for the crappiest starter every time. I just want to see... I want... If you're gonna do a Nuzlocke randomizer, you should have a challenge. It should be hard. So I wanna make it hard for you. Like if I get, I don't know if I'd pick like a Magikarp, but if one of my starters is like a Caterpie or some nonsense, yeah, well, <laughs> says the one who picked an Entei, but it was like an Entei or a Walrein or a Dragonite. I didn't really have like bad options. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Maybe I, I'm definitely sure that that's just me. Most people like to do well in a playthrough. So, you know, here we are. Take out this electrode. And then he's got a Blastoise. Just cause. Oh, and, oh. Why did that take so long? <laughs> I assumed he was using an item because there's always that like little pause before the items. I don't want Destiny Bond on funny. No. Uh, I, yeah, I was assuming it was using an item because there's like a little pause when people use items, but um, apparently he wasn't using an item. So here we are. Let's fight her now. A vile plume. Okay. Can, can everyone not paralyze me, please? Could I just not get paralyzed in every fight? Could I also hit with one move? Thank you. Right. What a disappointing, disappointing show that was. Uh, I guess. Oh, well, okay. We're gonna switch out. What are we switching out into? Polaris. Yeah. yeah, that's the one. Okay. Took care of that. We're gonna heal up real quick because I'm just getting annoyed. I don't want everyone to be paralyzed constantly. So don't do that. I have an entire galactic hideout to get through. I don't want to deal with having to heal 50 hundred times. 
that's how you pronounce it. It's not 5,000, it's 5,000. Paralyzed heal, let's get Morty back to good. Back to good. Uh-oh. A branching path with three options? What do I do? I right, get in front of this guy. You wanted to watch TV? Too bad! Is disrupting your research disrupting you watching TV? Because <laughs> that's what I saw myself doing. Oh, that should have absolutely taken him out. I am mad now. Oh, and now he's like fully healed because Rock Climb's a dick move. Doesn't ever hit. Alright, great. Well, let's take this one, I guess. Ah, I found... Oh my god, that's a lot of galactic people. Over here, over here. The gathering of Team Gal of the Team Galactic. What is the meaning of it? Oh, that one's a scene. We're gonna have a whole scene. This is new, Platinum. Hello, members of... That's not his voice. What's his voice? <laughs> maybe, maybe he's like really evil. Hello, members. <laughs> Hello, members of Team Galactic. Hear me. I can't do that for a whole video. Nope. Bye. Okay. Uh, that it's been a struggle to survive in this world. We humans and Pokemon are likewise incomplete. He's southern now. Great. Because we are all so lacking. We fight. We maim. It is ugly. I hate the incompleteness. That we are all incomplete. I hate it with my entire body and being. This world should be complete. The world must change. Who will change it? Me, Cyrus, and Team Galactic. Yes, all of you. To Together we poured over myths and exposed their secrets. Together we captured legendary Pokemon and now Team Galactic has obtained the energy to change the world. The power of dreams is within our grasp. I went out of Southern accent. I'm just doing whatever voice I want. I don't freaking care, man. They're going to Mount Cornet and those remain here. There are missions. Blah, blah, blah. Glory for Team Galactic. Roar. <laughs> is that what you say? I, I don't understand it's supposed to be a cheering noise, but I definitely don't roar. Like, they literally spelled out roar. Okay, well. Boo! So that was Cyrus, the boss of Team Galactic. Quite the performance, no? Mesmerizing for one only 27 years old. Hello? Was Cyrus always 27? I definitely imagine that he was like 40. Like, bad guys are supposed to be 40 and up. Midlife crisis, villain arc. Like, that, it makes sense, you know what I mean? Well. Very well, to investigate such matters is the job of the International Police, of which I am a member in good stead, and it is my job, therefore. We shall part ways here. Take extra care, my friend. I d <laughs> um, so in the show that I was doing this weekend, I do have a character that has a British accent. And there was definitely... Oh, beds. Yes, beds. Uh, there was definitely, like, an actual someone who... Like, a British tourist, I assume. Because it's a... The show's relatively close to Times Square. Uh, but so there was a British lady there. And I definitely walked out started doing the British accent and immediately noticed that she was laughing and I was like cool 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 I'm doing great <laughs> it was really hard to keep it together when I immediately caught that I was like oh okay yep I'm gonna take that as a review of my accent and I understand I should just remain American <laughs> to be fair I don't think my British accent is that terrible but it's definitely like a little bit off <laughs> I haven't studied the dialect that thoroughly in a long time. It was a, a while back that I initially taught myself the accent, and I haven't, like, looked at... I also don't really do dialects in the show. It's it's definitely supposed to be an RP, um, but I may be adding a couple dialect touches, uh, simply because I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, I definitely don't want Pearl fighting an Ambro, so... Yeah, we'll put an Arnold, I guess. We are not super great on tight coverage at the moment, and I don't love that. Oh, thanks, Nidorino. Cool. You're doing that. Wow, you're such a good friend. Okay. Um, sure, we'll just keep rock climbing you. Oh, did we? What? Did I rock climb Ambrose? Huh. Who knew? I don't know. Whatever. Let's try and take out this Ambrose. Yeah. Oh, 
a Rhyperior. Interesting. Okay, so what I don't love is that I can't decide who Petal Dance picks, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it and hope. Yes! Yes, Meganium! Well done! Proud of you! Uh, Rock Climb him. Done. Lapras. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, so close, but the poison will take it out, so it's okay. Uh, ooh! Don't love it. <laughs> Definitely don't love it. We're gonna switch to Honey. For them bug attacks. Oh, I should have used freaking bug bite. You idiot! You idiot! You have a bug attack! Use the bug attacks! Okay, we made the we made it through Dark Cry fairly easily. I'm okay with that. Oh boy, three more options. Heck if I know where to go. We're just running forward dramatically at this oh. Well this feels like the end. Um I mean it's great that I just made it there very quickly, but I don't quite want to I'd like a couple more trained battles. I want to get a little bit of experience. And items! Oh, you know I love items. Um, we also, yesterday, was it yesterday? No, it was Saturday. Um, when I, I think there was an item behind those boxes that I didn't get. Uh, when I went on the train leaving to go home from my show, there was 100% this, like, whatever car we decided to get on, my friend and I, there was this lady who was just screaming. Like a full con- I don't mean just like, ah! I mean, like, words. Um, she was, like, yelling at someone and had, like, very fixed eye contact. Uh, so it was as if she was directly looking at somebody. I just found a doll in the bed. I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay, I'm just trying to go to sleep, so if we could just do that. Um, and so it was, like, a little off-putting. It's always off-putting to have somebody yelling randomly when there's no one that they're clearly talking to. So you're like, who do you think you're talking to? Who are you possibly having a conversation with? And she, everything was accusatory. It was like, why would you do that? I can't believe you're doing that. Like, blah, blah, blah. Just going off. And, like, you could see people around the car... New Yorkers are experts at ignoring weird things going on around them. Like, actually a thing that everyone in the city does. Um, but you could even see some people getting a little uncomfortable with this one. Because it was just... She was so pointedly screaming at specific things. And sometimes it looked like she was looking at specific people when she was screaming at them. Um, but you were also trying to not look at her because you didn't want to accidentally catch her attention. If you know what I'm saying. Um, so it was like a whole weird experience. And then my friend got off the train. And almost right away, as soon as she got off the train, the lady suddenly started adding names to the yelling. And at that point, it is like a well-known thing in improv comedy like when you do short form improv, if you're having an argument or if you're mad at somebody or something like that, if you add a name, suddenly it is instantaneously funnier. Like if you're like, I cannot believe you would do that to me. It is not really directly a funny line, but if you're like, I cannot believe you would do that to me, Karen. And you say the name with a certain amount of emphasis, like it's always funnier that way. So she added the names and I nearly busted out laughing just like immediately she just started screaming and she was screaming at these people named John and Linda and I was like I don't know what John and Linda did <laughs> she was really mad about Linda Linda spilled something on her blouse so who knows am I battling Cyrus right now oh I am okay here we go this is probably gonna be the last thing we do this episode I wasn't sure if this is where see look at that face that is not the face of a 27 year old. There are lines on that face. He has not been moisturizing. He has not been taking care of himself. He is 40 at least. He needs some Botox immediately. Not to judge people who are 40, you're all lovely. Just saying. He doesn't, the character sprite does not come across to me as a 27 year old. That was, I am shocked. I am shooketh. But uh, let's take out his real fierce Totodile real quick here, yeah? Just take down this terrifying Totodile. Oh, it's confused too. Perfect. Hurt yourself. Hurt yourself, boy. No? Okay. This is a suggestion. You don't have to follow the suggestion. 
Wow, that's fun. That wasn't even a crit. That was a normal hit. I don't like that. We're gonna heal. Because I really didn't like that amount of damage. Why did that do so? It's a totodile. Really? Just hurt yourself, man. Oh, no. That's probably gonna do less, right? It still does way more than I feel like a totodile should be doing. Just like, honestly, we're gonna heal again and just let the poison take it out because I don't wanna lose a Pokemon in this battle. So, that's what it comes down to. Just maybe hurt yourself? That'd be cool. Yeah! Great. Did it. Totodile down. All right, an electrode. Let's go for that good poison again. Ooh, I could just poison everybody coming right in. We're gonna set that up. And by everybody, I mean his last Pokemon, because this is his next to last one, I'm pretty sure. Okay, just don't have things happen. I knew it raised something. What did that do? <laughs> Get that poison! Get that poison! You didn't. Cool. It's definitely gonna die. I thought everything was fine. Of course it knew self-destruct. Uh, I'm mad now. Uh, and th this really intimidating final Weedle. I cannot believe it. He's got a Totodile, an Electrode, and a Weedle, and somebody died. Come on, man. This is just annoying. Good old Citrus Fairy to save his Weedle. See, that's like the thing that gets me. Like, that did so little with a super effective move because it's a first stage evolution. Whereas Totodile had a regularly effective move that did like 80 damage in one hit. Just very confusing. Yeah, you may lose. You may lose, 40-year-old Cyrus. Oh, Rich Girl Joe, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your I didn't get your actual name. Cyrus must be your pen name or some nonsense. Just like your your working name. <laughs> okay, can we just finish this? Can this just be over? It's just a Weedle. It's just a Weedle. I would like to win. All right. Well, I'm so glad that in this episode we managed to get a, an encounter with a deli bird that we just let go and lose another Pokemon. So now we're working with the four Pokemon team. Boy, I feel great. <laughs> this is why I've abandoned all emotions as useless sentimentality. But that doesn't matter. I doubt you will ever understand my position. That said, I recognize that you are strong and courageous to come alone. This is your reward. Reward. Wow, thanks for the Master Ball, Cyrus. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Unlike you trainers, I do not make Pokemon my friends or partners. Unlike other Team Galactic members, I don't use Pokemon as tools. Instead, I make the power of Pokemon my own. Wow, okay, bye. Uh, save the Pokemon from the lakes in the work panel ahead, and then he's going to Mount Cornet. Okay, um, well, cool. We got all these things. There's two war panels, and I don't know where either of them goes. I'm imagining this one probably gets me out of here. He said take the one ahead. So, we're not gonna do this right now. Uh, because it's already a long episode. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it there. What a, what a time. What a time. Nothing really happened. We made it through and beat Cyrus and we lost Drapion. And now I have to figure out what I'm gonna do. Because I don't feel like I have anybody who's really great anymore. Okay, well, here, that's it. Thanks for watching this time. Um... Thanks for your patience last week while I really didn't have as many up uploads. Um, I'm really hoping to get back into it a little bit this week. I may be reducing my upload schedule a little bit. I had been kind of doing three to four videos a week 
for a while there. I think we're gonna go back, scale back to two to three, just because it was getting a little overwhelming for me, and I think that's part of why I needed the week off. Uh, so there will be some more episodes this week. I'm hoping to get my Fire Emblem playthrough started sometime soon, but I don't quite know how to edit a Fire Emblem video yet, because I do feel like just doing a Let's Play in the style of this, where there's no cuts, can be a little bit slow. Um, so I gotta kinda figure out what I wanna do with that. But I have a really interesting challenge run that I'm doing for it, one that I've made up, completely original idea. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for more of the Smeargle. Stay tuned for the end of this Nuzlocke, because we're getting right down to it. We've got one more gym in the Elite Four after we finish this up, and so I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. Uh, leave a like on the video for me. The goal is, I don't know, 10 likes. Let's hit 10. I don't know if I've hit 10 on a video before, so let's hit 10 likes. Let's do it, yeah? Great. And uh, leave a comment. Tell me about the things. Are comments going away? Is that something I read? I don't know. We'll see what happens. For now, if they're there, leave one. And until next time, guys, uh, go ahead and keep your beat up, and I will catch you later.